Alright, so what we're going to start by doing is taking the scissors and using them to poke a hole through the lens of the 3D glasses. By making this hole, we'll be able to cut out sections of the lens and pull it out from the framework. This also works with sunglasses, though I don't recommend using one that has a more solid lens as it will not come out very easily. Next what we're going to do is we're going to get our pinks together. First we have our light blue as our base and we're going to add that to our plate or palette. Next we add the darker blue. And we'll stir those together. It's not exactly the shade I want, so I'm going to add more of the darker blue. You can add as much or as little as you want to your taste. This will be the base color for the lens remaining on the glasses. Now here's where you can put in the sculpty glaze if you want to. If you're going to use it, pour it out slowly as it pours out quickly. Just put a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the paint that we've already mixed and add it to the glaze. This will make for a shinier, more realistic look for when we paint it on our glasses. Make sure to mix it in well as it will easily separate. As you will notice, you will not need as much paint as you made before because the consistency will be smoother. Now we will use the paint that we just mixed and apply it to the lens. This has been speeded up for you to save time. You might have made a little mistake by getting some on the lens. If this is the case, just use your Q-tips to carefully get it off. If you do this now instead of waiting, it will be easy to come off. However, if you wait too long, then it will be more difficult and you'll have to use something such as nail polish. There. Now that the paint is completely dry, we can now go to designing our glasses. To use for the base of our design, I have printed out a picture from Google of Hybra wearing the glasses. Based on this, I will take my lightest colored Sharpie and I will begin sketching in just the baseline of the first four circles. This has also been speeded up for you. It will be difficult to see these now and it will most likely make a deep impression on the paint. However, we will go over this later and it will make a more visible color. Now that I'm done with the two circles, I'm going to add the two lines in for the crosshairs. Next, I add in the directions, north, south, east, and west. Remember, the print is supposed to look like it's on the side facing you, so when you draw it, the letters will have to be backwards. It will be easier to see these when I go over them with a darker color later. If it seems like your marker is running out of ink, it may just be because of the paint. 
Try putting it on a different surface such as a piece of paper or a paper towel as I do. This will get the ink to run again and then you can continue to draw. Now I am going over the lines that I did previously. As you can see now, it's much easier to see them. I apologize for the change in lighting. Now I'm going over with a darker sharpie. Here are the letters that I was talking about. Normally you would have the north, south, east, and west, but it's slightly backwards now, so when you have the direction that you think would be north, south, east, and west, now it's going to be north, west, south, and east. And all of these letters will be backwards. There, I show you up in the close-up. Now I am adding in the extra details such as the little mumbled words that are unreadable and the dials and such, which give it its cool look. For reference on how to do these, just look up a picture on Google and copy what it shows there. Remember, some of the pictures are not mirrored, so you may have to do that yourself. And we're done with that. Now if you want to, you can add a red dot on there to represent the target. Now we have our twisty tie. What we're going to do is you want to make sure it's drained out. Next, you're going to open up your glasses and locate the corner right next to where we painted the lens. You're going to want to bend it as equally in half as possible, but don't bend it harshly. Just keep it in a nice loop. You can either slip the loop through the back of the glasses or you can simply put it over, whichever works easier for you. Next what you're going to do is you're going to start turning the twisty tie, securing it on there. It won't be completely tight, but it shouldn't fall off either. Next what you're going to do is you're going to keep one straight and the other one is going to be at a perpendicular angle. You're going to roll it around so that way it looks like an old phone cord and gives it a cool antenna effect. You may run out of twisty tie on one end, but that's okay, and it looks fine. Just secure it in by twisting it more, and remember to strain it out. And now we're almost done. Now what you can do, if you don't want it to fall off, is put a piece of tape on the back of it. Make sure to press firmly if you're going to do this. However, I think it looks tacky, and so I don't think I'll do this. The final step is covering up the tacky words. <laughs> of your 3D glasses. If you have sunglasses, this might be the brand name, or you might be lucky and you might not have to do this. Or if your glasses are a different color, you'll still have to do this as well. You can either cover up the words, letters, or design by using a black sharpie or black paint. As in this example, I'll be using black paint. Now you're going to start painting it on using nice even strokes and it looks like I'm doing shorter ones, but that's because I sped it up. Make sure to take your time with this. And also you will want to cover the whole entire section of the back, not just the logo, because otherwise the paint won't look nice unless you use a special glossy kind. 
Here I am finishing up the second side. You'll want to do this on both, of course. And now we are done. As soon as your paint is dried, you are ready to enjoy your new glasses. Woo! Go Detective Conan. Your antenna may become bent, but it's a twisty tie, so it's easy to fix. Thank you for watching.